Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the PJ Golf Course. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're talking about the iron clubs, we're talking about impact and we're going to go through a really simple drill or an exercise that you can do which is going to help you better understand how to achieve a good impact, get a little bit more compression on the golf ball, a little bit more speed into the ball, maybe strike the ball a little bit better and hopefully hit those iron shots a little bit closer to the flag. Now just before we get started, in the corner of the screen you should have the details on my social media platforms, so please go ahead and follow me on those if you don't do already. So many golfers that I see at the academy don't have the impact that they would like. They maybe don't get the sort of feel through the impact, they don't strike the ball as well as they'd like, they don't get quite the right attack angle, and they generally get a little bit too shallow. When we get a little bit too shallow in the approach, what we tend to find is we compromise our strike. We sometimes would hit the ground a little bit before the ball, or we sometimes get the ball a little bit too low in the club face, and that really costs us ball speed. We'd also find that those golfers tend to present a little bit too much loft to the golf ball, so we find that they tend to hit the ball a little bit too high. So if we don't strike the ball as well as we could, and we tend to hit the ball a little bit too high, we're generally losing quite a lot of distance through that. Now, these golfers often understand that the handle isn't enough forwards, and they're trying to get the handle more forwards, believing that's going to help them strike a little bit more down, get the divot target side of the golf ball. Now, certainly if we get the handle forwards, we get the option to hit down, we present lower loft, we can hit the ball higher in the face, etc, etc, and we get many advantages from that. In this video, we're looking at how you're going to get the handle forward and maybe some misconceptions. So, if I take my starting position, now, you can see here that I've got the handle about the middle of my stance. Now, what we do not want to do is from the top, simply believing that the more we shift across to our left, the more the handle will be forwards. There is a good chance that it could be forwards. However, I see many golfers where they can have the, hand, the, the hips forwards, but that doesn't take the handle with it. You can see how I can move my hips forwards, but that doesn't necessarily mean the handle's gonna go with me. The other issue we tend to see from this is that those golfers from the top, if they are trying to move their hips maybe too much laterally, that will often actually cause the lead shoulder to rise too much. And again, what that's done is it's really meant that I'm actually going to get possibly even more shallow into the golf ball because I've got too much what we call side bend to my right. I'm tilted too much away from the target. Now, if I were to take my setup and I kept a little bit of connection between my upper arm and my chest, and I'm just going to take my backhand off. Now, if you said to me, I want you to rotate your body and feel like I open up my body a little bit more. So I'm going to rotate my hips. What that would do is that would have more of an effect on where the handle is. You can see how as I open up my body, that tends to move the handle more forwards because my lead shoulder is moving a little bit in reaction to my legs. So for me, if you are the kind of golfer who needs a little bit more compression, you feel that you don't strike your irons as well as you could, a little bit more rotation, having the, ball a little, sorry, having the body a little bit more open at impact would allow you to get the handle forward and give you the opportunity to strike a little bit more down, get that compression that you're after and maybe flight that ball a little bit better. So here's what I want you to do. Take your setup just inside a golf ball and I want you to have the hands about in line with the club head. Now from here, all I want you to do is try and mimic an impact position. I'm gonna open up my body and you can notice how that's allowed me to have my hands a little bit more forwards. From here, I can actually put some pressure or some force through the ground, and I can start to create some bend in the club shaft because of my impact position. Notice how when I did that, I didn't necessarily move laterally onto my lead side. I've definitely moved some pressure there, but the more I go laterally, the more this shoulder's gonna rise, the more I'm gonna tip away from the target. So, when you're at the practice area or the drive range, you can take a setup, you can open up your body which will move the handle forwards and there's nothing to stop you from here making some little tiny swings and trying to pitch that ball just 20 or 30 yards but trying to understand how those impacts are going to relate to your sort of body positions. Let me show you what that looks like. 
So normal starting position. And then from there, we're just going to open up the body. Right knee kicks in a little bit. Handle moves a little bit more forward. And then from here, I'm just going to make a very short swing and just pitch that ball forward. And notice how when I finish my golf swing, my lead arm and the club are very much in a line. So that means I haven't sort of overused my hands and my wrists. My body's still rotated and my arms are nicely extended. There was no divot there because the speed was quite st uh, slow, but certainly the contact with the ground was post-impact. So there are lots of golfers out there possibly watching this video who could benefit from a better quality of strike with the irons and a little bit better interaction with the ground post the golf ball to target side. Simply moving your hips more towards the target is not necessarily going to help you do those things. It doesn't necessarily mean the handle's going to be more forward and in some cases it causes there to be far too much bend to the right and that causes the lowest part of the swing to happen even earlier. What we would like is a little bit more rotation in the body which is going to help the handle move more forwards and that's going to help us do some of the good things that we'd like to do, present lower loft, hit a little bit more down, strike the ball higher in the face, and that's hopefully going to help you hit those iron shots a little bit closer to the flag. Hopefully that video is helpful to you. Hopefully going to help you hit some better iron shots next time around the golf course. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you've got any comments, post those in the boxes down below. I do try and get back to as many as I can. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Loads more videos on my channel, loads more going up weekly. So just click in the link in the description box down below will allow you to subscribe to the channel and get access to all those videos. Thanks again for watching and hopefully we'll see you back here again soon.